The Toyota Camry has been one of America's best-selling products for decades now, but for 2025, it's getting a pretty significant alteration. Beyond the obvious cosmetic changes, the Camry is ditching its gas-only 2.5-liter four-cylinder and 3.5-liter V6 powertrain lineup in favor of an electrified four-cylinder across the board with available all-wheel drive. Those changes should help the Camry be more relevant than ever before, and it looks pretty good too. As you can probably see, the Toyota Camry shares a lot with its immediate predecessor, including an identical wheelbase, very similar proportions, and this slick black contrast roof on this particular XSC model that I'm standing next to. But Toyota did apply some unique styling language to the front and rear of the vehicle, starting with this big toothy grin that looks like it was borrowed from the crown and these attractive Prius-style angular headlights. The front end is also a little bit smoother than before, and it doesn't have that funky X-brace motif that the outgoing Camry had, the visual changes from the previous Camry continue around the rear. Gone are the old car's unusual running mascara bumper slashes, replaced with a more cohesive but still angular rear fascia. The taillights have also been redesigned, and there's an ubiquitous gloss black panel running between the width of them to help the car appear lower and wider. As with the exterior of the car, the inside of the Camry bears a lot of resemblance to its predecessor, with one big exception. Every Camry is now going to get a digital instrument cluster, measuring 7 inches on the base cars and 12.3 inches on the XLE and XSE. There's also a new Toyota Multimedia infotainment system, which measures 8 inches on the lower trims and 12.3 inches on the two upper ones. And it works so much better than the outgoing Camry's infotainment system and is much easier to use, especially now that it incorporates wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Otherwise, the design of the cabin feels familiar, but it's also a little bit avant-garde. I really love these strakes that run the width in front of the passenger and that join the vents over here on the driver's side. And the shape of this center console seems very useful for lots of stuff. There's a wireless charger here, a big open bin here, cup holders, a nice deep center console well. Overall, it just feels like it's gonna be a very useful family sedan. The cosmetic upgrades aside, the Camry's biggest changes appear right here under the hood where there's a new fifth generation hybrid system that makes use of the company's 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. In front drive form, the Camry hybrid has 225 horsepower. And if you go for all wheel drive, you get 232. Both of those numbers are useful upgrades over the outgoing Camry hybrids 206 horsepower and should give every version of the Camry just a little bit of that low RPM driving verb. What's more, the hybrid system has been retuned to give you less thrash and grumble from under the hood so that the batteries and the motors are doing more of the vehicle's driving, helping improve noise, vibration, and harshness for the occupants inside. Now, unfortunately, the company's 301 horsepower V6, as found in the Camry TRD, has been discontinued for the 2025 model year, but I also doubt that it will ever come back anytime soon. That does raise a couple of questions though. Will there be a new TRD? And if so, what's gonna come under the hood? If I were a gambling man, I would bet that the company's turbocharged hybrid max powertrain will show up in a future TRD with all of 340 horsepower or more. The new Camry should arrive at dealer showrooms sometime in the spring of 2024. Toyota hasn't announced pricing just yet, but considering the current Camry hybrid starts at just under $30,000, I think the new one will probably crest that benchmark. But if you look at it another way, you do get a lot of features for your money. Every Toyota Camry is gonna come standard with the third generation Toyota safety system, which includes lane tracing, lane departure prevention, automatic cruise control, and automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, as well as convenience features like blind spot monitoring and rear cross path detection. If you go for an XLE or an XSE, you can even option a premium package that gets you low speed traffic jam assistance which allows you to completely take your hands off the wheel and let the car do some of the piloting during those most agonizingly slow parts of your commute. Evolutionary upgrades like these will help the Camry maintain its relevance among consumers that don't want to step into crossovers and SUVs, and there's no question in my mind as to whether or not this vehicle will maintain its everlasting popularity. For more on the 2025 Camry, be sure to click the link in the description for the MotorOne.com debut post, and while you're up there, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can keep on bringing you awesome content. You can also follow us on all of your favorite social media and keep engaged with your favorite car content every single day and let us know how we're doing there.